Buonasera everyone, ciao a tutti. Uh, I just wanted to share some thoughts with you about today as I was talking to my friend Carlo, owner of uh, Mediterra and Oterra restaurants. It's such a fantastic group of places. It's crazy for me and I'm incredibly humbled to do this mini presentation for you. So let me show you first where I'm at. So I am right now in Bulgari for a small day trip. I actually came to Tuscany to visit uh, my dad, which has not been doing really good, but we will get into a good phase of his life soon. Um, my name is Roberto. I'm the director of brand development and partner of Soil Air Selection of New York. And I am presenting you today two wines, two rosé. They come from a specific area. Unfortunately, one of the two is Italian and one is French. The unfortunately goes on for the French one, not for the one from Italy. And look at Tuscany. Look how beautiful. We got a little bit of pine trees over there, some vineyards. There's a little bit of love in this action. The two rosé that we're drinking tonight at the tasting are the number one is the Poderi Arcangelo. Angela Mora is a dear friend of mine. She went to school with me. We bond our relationship so strong when we met again in wine business. She inherited the estate of her dad. She's located in Siena and she makes wine of incredible depth and personality. And the biggest mistake she made, she said to me, was the rosé that she has prepared in a very luscious style. It's a little darker in color. It's called Il Giullare. Bright, clean, crisp, fresh, made from Sangiovese with a touch of mammolo and a touch of chili giallo. I guess and believe that every one of you is going to love it. It's a light body, fresh wine, a lot of acid, good for food. So it's just delicious, perfect in every minute. Those behind me, by the way, are the mountains where Sasekaya is produced. And we are in Bulgaria here. So there is a little bit of wine tasting and in the same times we have a little bit of history of Tuscan. Tuscan heritage stays with you for the rest of your life. You have, if you have never traveled to Tuscany, I'll invite you to my homeland. Please do. It's important. So going back to Sandra Mora, Il Giullare. It is darker in color, a lot of fruit flavor, mineral, crisp, bright acid. You want to have a great pasta dish with that or just a simple dish. Anything that you like, it will match your expectation. The second one is this little French craziness that I found through the portfolio of some friends back about six to eight months ago. And they are located in the center heart of the Loire Valley and they make Sauvignon Blanc from the Sancerre area, of course. And then they make just some Appalachian wines. The Le Petit Godon from Frank and Sylvain Godon is a very transparent Pinot Noir Rosé, which makes you fall in love with it. You have a lot of tropical fruit, light flavor. It's just incredible. I think you're going to enjoy both of them. And if you do side by side, they have so much personality, so much character, so much to offer. They're also, I believe, reasonably priced. And I believe Carlo and Raul have made a fantastic offer for you to take home tonight. So don't miss this opportunity. And again, a little bit of Tuscany for you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity and the incredible honor to show you these two brands that you're drinking tonight with Carlo. God bless you, be great. And I look forward to seeing you in the gap again. Ciao, Roberto from Bulgari right now.